Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I told you guys last week that I would be a lot more consistent this year in 2024 with uploads on the channel. So here we are taking a look at team of the year. And yet I'm going to be doing this in the context on the in the context, if I can speak of EAFC. However, I'm going to be doing this not based off who I think would be good in game to use, but who I think actually deserves it in real world football. I'm going to avoid the women's team of the year because just complete transparency. I don't watch a whole lot of women's football. So fine. So we're going to ignore the women's vote. We're going to do vote team of the year men's. So here we go. Go ahead. Start in there. Everyone has a team. Choose yours. I'm choosing mine. So off the bat here, we have the uh, goalkeepers. So Allison, Ederson, Samba, Kobel, Chesney, Mignon, Oblak, and Mark andre Ter Stegen. Uh, I think I'm, I'm probably not going to... I'm in the minority here. I know that for a fact. On both of my selections, I got two people that I think deserve shouts. Probably an honorable mentions in-game and then who actually deserves it. And those two are Mark, Mark andre Ter Stegen and Gregor Kobel. I'm going to go for who deserves the team of the year is probably Ter Stegen. I, I think Mark andre Ter Stegen deserves team of the year. I think he's played the best out of the goalkeepers here. I know Ederson's going to have a shot with the treble win, but I think Ter Stegen, just looking at the goalkeeper position, Ter Stegen and Kobel, at least for me, have been the best goalkeepers in the past calendar year. Moving on to the defense. Saliba, Trent, Van Dyke, Klaus, Frimpong, Diaz, Stones, Grimaldo. I'm probably not going to, I'm going to just not read all. Geez, there's a lot of them. All right. Yeah, we're not going to read all of them. Um, right off the bat, Kunde stands out. Uh, Teo Hernandez stands out. Bremer stands out. Um, who else? Who, Kim and Jay stands out. Matt Hummels has been very, very solid for Dortmund. If you can't tell, I watch a lot of Bundesliga rather than other things. Most of the people I'm going to pick are going to be down on this side. So starting off with, I think this one is pretty easy. Van Dyke has been very, very solid for Liverpool. Got to put that out there. Uh, a strange one that I think not a lot of people are going to go with is John Stones, not necessarily for his defensive role, but that like strange role that he's played under the like defensive midfielder and center back pair, whatever he does. I think that deserves, there we go. He deserves to go there. Uh, and then here comes my uh, Bundesliga bias. Uh, we have Frim Jeremy Frimpong goes right there and Grimaldo goes over there. Um, I, kid, like I said, Mats Hummels, Kim Min Jae, Bremer, Teo Hernandez. I think Di Lorenzo has a shout. Kunde, I know a lot of people want Kunde, but uh, Di Marco as well. Um, I think there's a lot of good defenders uh, that should get shouts or uh, at it, but I think this is, at least for me, this is who the four defenders that I like the most in the past year. Midfield. Midfield here. I can already see a couple. Uh, Declan Rice, I think, deserves one, although I, I'm not going to put him in there. Uh, Odegaard, De Bruyne, uh, unfortunately, I think that he's just been injured too much this year to, to, uh, have a shout, uh, Musiala, Brandt as well, uh, who, let's just go through all these, um, do, let's see who else is there, yeah, Cruz, I think, again, deserves one, but I don't think he's gonna get it, just because of the fact that this game does not fit with how Tony Cruz plays, I think he probably has been one of the top five midfielders uh this past season but like i said we're gonna go on this base off game but kind of a mixture of both but uh the first one that i think without a question is jude bellingham i think he's been the best midfielder of i mean the best midfielder in this calendar year by far um let's see who next who should we put next to him um i'm looking for somebody specific there he is Rodri. i i I don't I don't think anybody can really argue with Rodri. Uh this one I, I had a little bit of a difficulty deciding. Um I'm just gonna do this, not that it matters, but just from my brain. Uh we're gonna go somebody that's a little bit more attacking than Rodri. Um Musiala, I like I said earlier, he I'm tempted to put him in, but I'm gonna go a little off book here and we're gonna go Florian Verts. Florian Verts, I think, is going to, has been one of the best. Uh, attacking midfielders in the Bundesliga. Not necessarily like attacking midfielder, but attacking driven midfielder uh, in, in the Bundesliga. So I think that goes there. Moving on to the final stage. This is where I'm probably going to annoy 
a lot of people. I have notes written down of who I think should be up there. I'm scrapping the notes. We're just going freestyle on this attackers. Sokka deserves, I think Sokka has been very good. Um, Mo Salah, I think has been up there. Grealish, no. Holland, yes. Sun, yes. Uh, Lee Kenyon's been decent for, for PSG as well. Mbappe's Mbappe. Um, I think he's Mbappe personally has been a little disappointing for me. Um, I think he's kind of, I don't, I don't want to say he's downgraded, but I don't know. He's not lived up to what I thought he would this season. Uh, Harry Kane's there. I, Girassi, I don't know how you pronounce his name. He's been very, very good in the Bundesliga this year. Um, who else do we have here? Ronaldo, I think the moving to the Saudi league has dropped his standard down a bit personally. Um, same with Benzema, uh, Griezmann, I think is a very, very underrated shout. Uh, let's see who we got. Vinny as well. Messi. I, I think we have to put Leo Messi there. I mean, the dude won the Ballon d'Or this year. Say what you will about him being in the MLS. Um, I think he's, I mean, I mean, he's won, he won the world cup. He's won every trophy now that he possibly can. It's hard to, to look at him not being in the team of the year. Another one that I think is going to be very, very hard to not put in the team of the year. I can, if I can drag him, there we go. Erling Holland. I, I think he's just been, uh, he's, I think he's ha has he not had the best season for a striker in the Premier League of all time? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Is that, is that weird to say? I don't think so. I think he's been the best striker in Premier League history. Are you sure? Maybe not talent wise, but just accolades and, and what he's actually numbers wise done. I think he's there. I know a lot of people are going to disagree, but that's fine. That's why we do these kind of videos. Let's talk about it. This last spot, uh, Sun, Sala, Kane, um, Garase, I, I think all deserve that. Ronaldo, I think would be on the tier below if there is like a fourth attacker, it, just like a, like an honorable mentions, for example, Ronaldo would be there. I'm going to go very, very suspect. I know a lot of people are going to disagree. Antoine Griezmann. I, I, I don't think he's going to be that guy, but I think he's, he's the Leonardo DiCaprio Oscar pick for this. He's been, I think, overlooked a bunch, but I think he, he deserves some recognition for, for what he's done. What I think people are going to pick Harry Kane or Mbappe. I think people are going to go Harry Kane or Kylian Mbappe over Griezmann in that position. There we go. That's the full team of the season. Ter Stegen, Grimaldo Van Dyke, Stones, Frimpong, Rodri, Florian Verts, Jude Bellingham, Griezmann, Holland, and Messi is my 11 team of the year players. Let me know. Uh, you know, I would say let me know if you want me to see if you want me to do a women's team of the year. Scratch that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to make the most. Uh, I'm going to pick names that I recognize more than who's actually had a good season. So we're not going to do the women's team of the year vote. I'm sorry if you're looking forward to that. There's the men's team of the year vote. Uh, let's go ahead and submit that vote. And there we have it. There we go. Vote has been submitted for EAFC 24. Let me know who you disagree with. Who did I leave out? Who did I think? Who do you think I've put in over somebody who actually deserves it? Let me know down below. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later.